Hello ladies and gents, Azakai here, bringing you another video for the English version of Naruto Online, published by Oasis Games. We're going to be looking at the event announcements for the 26th of July 2018. For our weekly Strong Ninjas, we have Deidara Edo Tensei, Tobirama Senju Edo Tensei, Hiruzen Sarutobi Edo Tensei, and Kisame Hoshigaki Samihara Fusion Mode. For our first event, we have Konoha Great Tree. The event period goes from July 26th to August 1st. Um, of course, servers that open after June, <laughs> July, not June, um, July 26th cannot take part in this event. So how this works is Konoha Great Tree has its own icon in the main HUD. Players can click on this icon to enter the event. Players can obtain dew drops by clearing trials in the survival trials, participating in the arena, or clearing team instances. I believe you can get up to two each. Or you can, or by buying daily packs, will also earn you additional dew drops. So you bless the lucky tree using your dew drops, coupons, or ingots to obtain points and items or fortune coins from the lucky tree. So these points and fortune coins can then be used to redeem items in different shops. The points comes um, comes back as a rebate, so get, depending on the number of points you get, um, depends on the rebate. I think 50 points you get the seal scroll, something like that. They're not bad. Um, well, um, Konoha Great Tree is pretty great because you get a lot of free stuff, honestly. So, um, continuing on, so you have points and the fortune coins. Obviously, you got the um, points rebates, and then you got the fortune coin redeem shop, which you can use the fortune coins to spend on items. Um, the lucky tree will level up when a given amount of points is reached. All players from a given same server can obtain items from the world tree. Um, you only get items every level the world tree gains. Its level is related to the amount of points of all players from a single server or merged server. Remember to use Jew drops, fortune coins, and great um, Konoha's great tree points before the deadline of the event, which is according to the computer time, or it will reset to zero. Do also remember you get one free bless every day. Make sure you use that. You can get up to six free dewdrops every day. So don't forget to do all of your stuff. Um, number two, we have Treasure of the Sage. Treasure of the Sage goes from July 26th to August 1st. How this works is that you complete plot or elite instances to get Sage Keys. You can get a maximum of five free Sage Keys every single day. The Sage Keys can be bought in the time limited shop as well. Sage Keys obtained for the week's event need to be spent this week. Once the event ends, the Sage Keys you didn't spend will be reset to zero. So you use this, so you use the Sage Key to open Treasure of the Sage. When you open up, um, when you open the, ah, sorry, when you use the Sage Key, you will get a random reward. Something from a Naruto fra um, from a Naruto Sage Mode fragment, two, ten coupons, or um, I believe one purified protection room, or maybe a cave key. There's there's five things I believe. One of them is actually a gold gold level material. Not sure what how to exp um, not sure like the actual rarity for the. Um, for the awakening materials are, but it's gold in color, usually. So, after opening the stage, four random items will appear with different discounts. By refreshing, you can get different items with different discounts. Um, also, you, you get the random reward by refreshing the valuables in the treasure. So yeah, every time you use a key to open the treasure, well, a set of treasures, um, you get a random reward, and four, treasure, four random um, treasures with different discounts will be shown to you. The maximum discount obtainable is 50%. Remember that this does not apply to all items available in the store. Well, it not applies to all available items in the thing. Make sure you always check the information icon inside the event. It will tell you what and um, what is the maximum discount for all of the items inside the treasures. 
So, apparently we are guaranteed to see Minato Namikaze, Jonin, Mass Man, Bonsko Optional Pack, and Katsuya Breakthrough Stones inside Treasure of the Sage. So if you're looking for those, they are inside Treasure of the Sage. Make sure you check out the information icon to look for their maximum discount. Number three, we have Daily Purchase Limit. Goes from event period is July 26th to August 1st. Details are... Find the event in Hot Topics. Each gift pack can be bought once daily. Players can only use ingots to purchase the pack. Um, so you got the 88 pack, which is Steel Scroll times 1, Bells times 7, and Coins times 30,000. You have the 188 pack, which gives Steel Scroll times 1, Mount Myobaku Grass times 4, and Medium Cloth times 3. And then you got the 888 pack, which is Special Seals pack times 1, Charm Material pack times 3, and Advanced Threads times 5. All of them look crappy except the first one so I yeah I wouldn't purchase any of them realistically oh, but you can spend on it if you want to again it's your choice what you want to spend your ingots on um, honestly these honestly from just the seal scroll value of itself um, these are pretty poor except for the first one so, the special seals pack gives a fixed drop of seals score times 5, and a random drop of Kirin times 1, Lee the 8 inner gate fragment times 5, Shikaku Nara fragment times 5, Ino great ninja war fragment times 5, Neji great ninja war fragment times 5, Ten Ten Chong Sum fragment times 5, and Kakashi beheading sword fragment times 5. Number 4, we have Mount Myoboku Trials. Very good free to play event, I recommend everyone to always do these. And very interesting to see for the login gifts. But first, the event, uh, the Murabuku Trials event period goes from July 26th to August 1st. Players must reach level 30 in order to participate. And for the first part of the Murabuku Trials is the login gifts. Very interesting to see on the 26th of the 7th. We have sorry of the 7th. Of, so, sorry. <sighs> wow, the American with the reverse thing. It's kind of really weird. On the 26th of July, you get Coin times 20,000, Cultivation Rune times 2,000, and Udon, Fragment times 15. Udon, it is... Um, Konohamaru's male um, teammate. I'm pretty sure. And the other one's Mo... Moegi? Moegi? I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, you have Udon. For, um, so on the 27th of July, you have stamina potion time, um, stamina potion small times two, Dango times five, and ten more fragments for Udon. On the 28th, you get Cave Key times two, Cultivation Rune times 2,000, and 15 more. On the 29th, you get Coins times 20,000, Barbecue times five, and ten more Udon fragments. On the 30th, you get Mood Scroll times two. Stamina push in small times one and fifteen more. Th on the thirty first of July you get Dango times five, cultivation rune times two thousand, and Udon fragment times ten. Along with on the first of August you have coin times twenty thousand and cave key times two for giving you a grand total of nine ninety? I think I hope I'm reading that right. Ninety. You get ninety. Huh. You get ninety Udon fragments. That should be enough to get them to five, three star with ten left over. So oh, you're ten closer. Anyway, besides continuing on, another throwaway ninja. Udon fragments are basically as well, Udon as a ninja is basically as strong as Konohamaru by himself. So, not terribly great, but pretty good Pretty good if you like collecting them all. Like me. You got Mount Myobaku Trials. You got, so, this is the actual minigame. So you click play. A hammer will appear visible on the interface. You move your hammer and pick a cylinder you wish to target. After the minigame starts, of course, a needle will start moving from left to right. 
when the needle is in the perfect area, be fast to click and perfect. One of the cylinders will be sent flying. The more cylinders you clear, the quicker the needle will move. I'm not sure if that is actually true. To my eyes, the needle doesn't actually get any faster. But um, definitely the perfect area will start to shrink. You can claim a reward for each cylinder. That reward is actually claimed automatically. If it's game over if Naruto's head falls before you clear all the cylinders. Every player has three daily attempts. Players can also consume 10, 15, and 20 ingots to have another three attempts to do this event. Each of the um, each of the ingots, you can have up to only three. So the first extra attempt is 10, the second extra attempt is 15, and the last extra attempt is 20. That's how it works. For the third part of Mount Millburg Trials, we have Wheel of Offering. So you use coupons or ingots to spin the wheel. Click Start and wait to see what reward you'll get. Um, every time you spin the wheel, different coupons and... Well, sorry. Coupons or ingot quantities will be asked in order to continue spinning it. Generally speaking, the more coupons slash ingots you use, the higher your chances of getting better rewards. If you use a thousand coupons slash ingots to spin it, it is almost impossible that you will get a level 2 Rainbow Makatama. For example, for the first time you spin the wheel, you'll be asked 100 coupons of ingots to spin it. The second time you'll spin the wheel, um, you'll be asked to use 300 coupons for ingots in order to continue spinning. The rewards for using 100 coupons slash ingots are usually inferior to the rewards using 300 coupons or ingots. Uh, I'll just spin the wheel a second time. Wow, I just lost track, didn't I? So, the more time you spin the wheel, the better the rewards can be by the time the more at the same time. The more times you spin the wheel, the more the coupons slash ingots you will have to use in order to continue spinning it. One spin will get you one reward. You cannot get the same reward a second time in the same day. The spin and coupon slash ingots required to spin the wheel will be reset every day. However, the reward for the same for all days the rewards are the same for all days of this event. Players can spin the wheel up to eight times a day. For those that did not understand exactly what the Wheel of Offering does, basically it is a guaranteed weighted... I mean, all 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 wheels are weighted, but in this case they're telling you straight up that it's weighted. So, as you spin the wheel, each there is only eight rewards on the wheel. The wheel takes away any rewards that you have already claimed. And each time you spin the wheel, it will cost more to spin it. So therefore, you have a 1 in 8 chance to get a random item. Well, In true probability, you would supposed to have a 1 in 8 chance to get one of the 8 items available for a 100 coupons. But on your second spin, you'll have a 1 in 7 chance to get any of the remaining for 300 coupons, and so on and so forth. Until eventually you spend, I think, 1,000 for the 8th spin, which gives you the guaranteed reward of the last item. Which is usually the most expensive one, and I will probably guarantee you that you would never get a breakthrough pill with only a hundred coupons because I mean like I do I always do the Wheel of Fortune and I have never seen I have never gotten the purification breakthrough pill um, ever with a hundred coupons or I, I think the chances are so low that the number of times I'm doing it just has not reached the guaranteed at least once. <laughs> uh, anyway, continuing on, well, number, ah, event number, number 7, we have Platinum Recharge. It goes from July 26th to August 1st. Recharge a given amount of ingots every day to claim prizes. Um, apparently this lasts for 7 days. Play, of course, prizes can be claimed only um, claimed once daily. Recharge the same amount for a given number of days as long as recharge Wow, as long as recharge three times during event period to claim extra rewards. 
very interesting you can claim rewards for each day but apparently you get an extra reward for only recharging for three days I think that might be a typo or a mistake um, prizes can be claimed once during event period yada 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 this event period obviously refreshes every day at 0 hundred hours rewards are for the first level you get coupon times 20 level 3 Makatama pack and for your special recharge for seven days is seal scroll times one and a charm material pack times one for your second level primary recharge pack one times one bell times five and for recharging for seven days you get primary recharge pack two times one and seal scroll times three for your level three and your premium well, it's called, actually, sorry, it's called the Recharge Feedback Pack, 1 times 1, Advanced Refinery times 10. For recharging for 7 days, you get the Recharge Feedback Pack, 2 times 1, and it is the Treasure, and a Treasure Tools Ultimate Essence. Uh, primary Recharge Pack 1 contains Guy Gate of Joy Fragment times 8, Kakashi Anbu Fragment times 8, and Killer B Seven Sword style fragment times eight. Of course, the primary recharge pack two just contains the same ninjas, but instead twenty-four fragments for on each. You can only select one of the ninjas, of course. Um, it's not random. You select them. So you select any of those three, and all together for the seven days, you will get eighty fragments. So if you're looking for any of those, you can use the recharge. Um, platinum recharge to get them if you recharge that is for the recharge feedback pack you get a fixed reward of the Itachi Susano Itachi Sus Itachi Uchiha Susano's fragment times one and a mysterious uh, mystery gem times one for of course for the level two pack you get three fragments of Itachi but instead of a mystery gem you get Giant Katsu, um, Katsu fragment, ah, uh, not fragment. Giant Katsu breakthrough stone times one. You need five for the first, ten for the second. So you need fifteen in total to fully unlock um, the the summon mystery. Number eight, we have wishing lanterns. Very simple event. Just send them off and um, support others and let others support you. Wishing Lantern event period goes from July 26th to August 1st. Um, sorry, Wishing Lanterns event period goes from July 26th to August 1st. Players must reach level 16 in order to participate. Um, during the event, click release a um, Wishing Lantern on the... Um, sorry. Release a Wishing Lantern from 9 to Wow, okay, so it can fly from 9 to 20, um, 2400 hours to participate in the event. You can release a lantern once daily. After the lantern is released, you can click on your own lantern to request your group members' support. Um, I believe it's your friends, not your group members. Uh, to make your lantern fly even higher, after you request help, a cooldown timer for 5 minutes will be in effect. Click on other ninjas, lan sorry, other ninjas lanterns in the event to show your support to them. As a reward, the support shown to others will also make your lantern fly 100 meters higher. The same lantern can only be supported twice daily. Click the small lantern on the right of the interface to open the request interface, if in which you can check the request from your group members. Use support all on the support ninjas in one click. The higher your lantern flies, the better the rewards you can obtain. Players can only obtain one reward daily. The rewards will be sent to your email after the event ends at 2400 hours. Daily showing slash receiving support is limited to 20. Um, it, they're separate, it's not combined. 20, it means that you can give support 20 times and someone can support you. Well, people can support you 20 times. Number nine, we have daily spending rebate on July 26th to August 1st. During the event, players can get a different reward by using a given amount of ingots, rewards, and daily 
consumed ingots will be reset at 5 a.m. every day. So, of course, you just spend ingots, you get a rebate pack, um, and it resets every day. Number 10, we have Great Plates. It goes from July 26th to August 1st. Players must reach level 40 in order to participate. So you use the Great Key and get the rewards. The more Great Key you use, the more rewards you, you get, of course. If, yeah, obviously makes sense. Um, there is normally a second part to the Great Plates. The, um, you get a rebate for using a certain number of keys. So if you use, like, I believe it's 150 great keys, you get normally two or three seal scrolls in return. Oh, as a rebate. <laughs> Number 11, we have Konoha Gift Shop. It goes from July 26th to August 1st. Items that can be obtained from this shop are daily special um, daily just daily special gift shop is Rainbow Makatama level 5, Rainbow Makatama Rainbow Makatama level 4, special charm material pack, Mount Mule Book gifts, and the Spring Lucky Pouch. Spring Lucky Pouch contains a fixed drop of Seal Scroll times 1, Summoning Scroll times 2, Mood Scroll times 5, Unbound Rune Pack times 10, Yum Yum Gift times 10, Coins times 20,000. You also have a random drop of the Itachi Uchiha Susanoo Fragment times 1, Naruto Ninetail Chakra Fragment times 1, A Third Raikage Fragment times 1, Hinata Dream World Fragment times 1, Kushina Uch Uzumaki Fragment times 1, Utakata Six Tails Jinchuriki Fragment Times One. Whew. You also have limited sales. Interesting, we have Moegi Fragments in the limited sales. So, along with the limited sales, you also have Hashirama Senju's Wood Style Great Tree Breaker and Wood Style Great Tree Breaker 2. You also have Hashirama Senju's Ninja God, uh, Tobirama Senju Taijutsu Attack, and Tobirama Senju Genjutsu Infinite Darkness Jutsu. All of those that I just said were the skill books in order to skill break these ninjas. You also have the Deluxe Charm Material Pack, which I believe gives you 50 of each, if I remember correctly, it's 50 of each. You also have the opportunity to to buy the Water Bond Scroll, Fire Bond Scroll, Wind Bond Scroll, Lightning Bond Scroll, Earth Bond Scroll, and a Deluxe Bell Pack. Not seen a Deluxe Bell Pack before, but it'll probably won't cost too much. Well, it'll probably cost a lot. <laughs> what am I kidding? Bells will probably cost a lot. For the new packs, for there are new packs available in the Purchase Limit Shop Interface. And obviously, the Sage Keys will be available. Mm, not sure what else would be available there. But anyway, besides the purchase, besides, make sure you check out the Purchase Limit Shop to see what's there. For the 13th, last but not least, we have Sage Key Cave Key Time. Cave Key Time Limited. Interesting. There is no mention of Mysterious... Ooh. I don't know how I missed that. I honestly don't know how I missed that. Sorry, guys. We have number 5, Summoning Rebate. Goes from um, July 26th to August 1st. Players must reach level 50 in order to participate. Obviously, with the Summon Rebate, um, you use Summoning Scrolls in order to get back Summoning Scrolls. These summoning scrolls will probably only last seven days, though, so be wary of that. You also get some rune packs as well. I believe the maximum rebate is a hundred, so if you got a hundred seals, um, not seal scrolls, summoning scrolls, now is the time to use them. Number six, we also have the cave exploration rebate. It goes from July 26 to August 1st. Players must reach level 48 in order to, in order to participate during the event. Players can consume a given amount of cave keys to receive a rebate pack. Free explanations or cave key time limited are not counted in the total number of cave keys spent. When exploring the mysterious cave, cave key time limited will be spent first. Cave key time limited will be removed from your inventory after this event. Remember to use them. Um, cave key exploration rebate. Also remember that there is a second part to this. For every fifty, um, for every fifty keys you use, you will get a draw in a 
jackpot system. This jackpot contains normally the ultimate um, treasure tool's essence. So every time you spin, you get one lucky credit. Well, um, once you get 20 lucky credits, your next draw will be a guaranteed jackpot. So in order to get the best use of this event is to have 1,050 cave keys and you'll get a guaranteed ultimate essence um, when you use all of them and claim all of your rewards from the cave key exploration rebate. So if you have 1,000 cave keys, good time to get some extra rewards for using them. Whew, now we got that out of the way. So, number 13, last but not least, Sage Keys, Cave Key Time Limited, Great Keys, Jew Drops, and Fortune Coins obtained for this week's event need to be spent this week. Once the event ends, the Sage Keys, Cave Key, the Sage Keys, Cave Keys Time Limited, Great Keys, Jew Drops, and Fortune Coins that you didn't spend will be reset to zero. Along with number 14, monthly event update, are you traveling, <laughs> well, let's just, um, monthly event update, are you traveling for the first time to the US, are you looking for something more, um, more exotic like Japan or China, are you looking to get some fun in the country such as Portugal or the Bahamas, enjoy your holidays, that is from the Oasis team. And number 15, we have a new ninja was added to the rewards for the August daily sign-in. It is Orochimaru Sanin War. So, we'll get Orochimaru Sanin War. I, I would hope we also get his books, but the likelihood of getting his books along with his fragments is actually pretty high. But, again, we won't know until we see it. So, along with my last query, we have remarks. Same remark as all the time. The deadline of the new server event and the weekly event are set according to players' local time, computer time, not the server time. Daily missions and daily recharge event, event in which you get a 4-star Gara by recharging for 5 days, are all refreshed at 5 server time, so don't miss out. And that is all for this week. Looking pretty okay. You got at least two good events. We have the Konoha Great Tree and the Mount Boku, being great free to play event. You also have the um, Lantern being okay, not terribly great. Um, and there should be one more, which I've forgotten what it's called. Ah. Great plates, actually, great key, sorry. Um, great key, actually pretty good as well. So you have three good free to play events and one mediocre one. So the rebate is strong with this one. You also have, obviously, two rebates. You got the summoning and the cave key, um, cave key rebates. So make sure you take advantage of all of that if you're free to play. Otherwise, you got the regular um, your spending and recharging events. So if you are a spender, make sure you take advantage of those while you can. Anyway, I'm Azuka. Have a nice day.